Hey everyone, this is Julia, the Nomadic Crafter, and I'm here with a short video to show you the project I'm working on right now. I'm here in San Diego in my makeshift sewing studio in my mechanic shop. <laughs> so, um, what I'm working on today are hippie patchwork bell bottoms. Uh, and by the way, for those of you that are just coming to my... Thank you for coming, and for those of you that are returning, thanks for returning. I am doing videos about the projects I'm making living and traveling out of a van. And I rent places along the way and get my work done, and I do some of it in the coming up. So today's project are hippie patchwork bell bottoms, and I'm getting ready to finish these ones up tonight. So for those of you that have seen my other hippie pants, they are strip patchwork put into the side of jeans going all the way down and then I do wide patchwork at the bottom to create the bell bottom. Well this is another kind of bell bottom where I create the bell first. This is one of the bells here and it hasn't been sewn together yet so the shape is like this and then I sew it together and I have my bell bottom. Now I've made two of these. This is the other one over here. That's the front and that's the back. And I'm going to attach them to a pair of jeans like this that's been cut off at the bottom. Usually right at the knee or right below the knee. So these will be bell bottoms once I attach these. Uh, of course, first off to sew them shut. Now the way that I create these pieces, and the pieces are like this that I'm working with, are on from the bottom of jean legs. And I have a bunch of these because I like to cut off jeans and add skirts to the bottom. So they're skirt bell bottoms. And then you end up with all of these pieces. Now I have made loincloths before from these, which were pretty fun back in the day. Um, and I want to give note to another maker named Poor Pitiful Pearl, whom you can find on Etsy, who is where I got the initial idea of this from. And this is one of three different types of bell bottoms that I now make. Anyway, the way that you get a piece like this, and what's so cool about it is it has the hem on it already, so when you're making the um, bell bottom and sometimes a fancy hem you already have that hem and it's just kind of a cool effect of course the pieces that you're adding like this piece I'm making the hem on there but it just adds a little bit of extra flair and just some I don't like to match them up and that's why each one is different as you can see front back it's not matched up because I don't like the matchy matchy but I like it to sort of come together and I just play with it until I see a pattern that I like and it sort of clicks in like a lock and key and I go ah that's it and that's what I did with these but they don't match but they blend well so anyway to get one of these um, you take this and you basically just cut a triangle cut there this way and like that sort of like that and you're gonna get one of those pieces you're gonna get two of those pieces actually and if you use different pants that are lighter or darker or have different details on them, these are lighter and more worn, you get a nice uh, effect. And if you have a piece that's too short, say, you can um, add some to the top of it or you can add some to the bottom of it. So, and in that way, you just build up the bell bottom. You could use all jean if you want. Um, if you want to use the part of the jeans bottoms that you've just cut um, and use that length, you're going to shorten the jeans because remember you're going to have a seam edge right here and a seam edge on the bell decreasing the length by about an inch. So you can do that. You can add more fabric to the bottom of the bells. So whatever way you want to do it. So that's the project I'm working on today. I'm very excited about it. Um, it's getting late and I want to finish this up. Um, but before I let you go, I will show you the completed pair that I already made yesterday. Yay! Oh, and by the way, for those of you that haven't seen, I just use a very simple, um, this one's a little brother machine, like from machine as well. 
But that's all I need is my little machine, my little iron, and the littler the better. And my handy spray bottle. I have my threads here in this pretty box. And last time I went to Walmart, they only had a few green threads left, and that's all they had. And then this box just holds, like, um, some extra stuff, usually my measuring tape. But when I'm in the van on the road making stuff by hand, this will hold my thread and things that I'm using, um, embroidery thread for outer stitching that I'm using on the road. So, and there's all supplies of new things that I'm working on. But anyway, let me show you these bell bottoms. So here they are. Voila! So I'm totally loving these. This was like this cool jean here. Um, and then this beautiful purple oh, floral fabric. And there's the back. And you, you get these lines on here um, by putting all these jean parts together. There's just a little strip there. I just love the effect of that one. Here's the other bell. There's a little bit of a star there. And the back on this one has some tribal fabric with more of that purple. So there's a sense of matchingness there, but it's like really pieced together. Again, like your traditional patchwork effect. Ah, I just love them. You can see the regular patchwork strip jeans that I typically make. These ones are not bell bottoms, but just a strip of fabric on each side. <laughs> So those will be up in my store soon. My store is called California Patchwork on Etsy.com. So you can go to Etsy.com slash store slash California Patchwork. Or if you're just browsing around Etsy, you can just type in California Patchwork, all one word in the search bar, and my store will come right up. Love these old faded jeans. They're just pulling like that there because of the hanger. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty wide bell, right? I mean, it's... So here's sort of the table view of these ones coming up right now. The eight. I love these. Oh my God. So cute. These are Marona size 16. Those will be in the store soon. Take a bit to photograph them and list them. But So thanks so much for joining me today for this quick video on Hippie Patchwork Bell Bottoms a la Poor Pitiful Pearl. Check her site out on Etsy as well. Um, everybody's ideas are different and every idea is sort of a build on another idea anyway. It's almost like the ideas aren't really owned by anybody. They're sort of, it's like music. It's sort of flowing in the ether and you sort of like link up to it or you don't. Um, it's like when the Grateful Dead would do their long jams. They weren't like composing this stuff out. It wasn't like... You could hit this series of notes spontaneously and then copyright it. Some people do that, Stairway to Heaven or whatever. But it's, in artistically speaking, um, like in this case, I don't feel like I'm taking someone's idea. I think uh, that idea was built on another idea, you know, like from the 70s, which was built on another idea from 1910 and then been built on another. It's all a stream. It's like rock and roll is, is also a stream of music. Widespread panic songs, their sound, their feeling, um, is all uh, coming built on past bands, Led Zeppelin, The Grateful Dead, all of these other older rock. <laughs> so yeah, this is like my variation of one of her ideas, but.